Hello, hello, this is Ashley and welcome to my channel, Mississippi Magnolias. Today I'm giving my mailbox a much needed makeover. As you can see, my mailbox has definitely been neglected and the biggest problem I had was that new numbers were slapped over old numbers over the years and that really made getting the adhesive off a problem. I did not feel like spending over $100 on a new mailbox, so I was able to complete this project for under $20. The first thing you'll want to do is detach the box from the post. Next, you will have to remove all the adhesive letterings from your mailbox in order to get a clean slate. In my case, this was a bit tricky because I had so many layers I had to work through, but I did find that WD-40 worked miracles on getting all the adhesive off. It just took a little bit of time and a little bit of elbow grease. I applied a generous amount of WD-40 and then let it sit for about 10 minutes. While that soaked in, I took some sandpaper and sanded the scuffs and dings on my mailbox post. After about 10 minutes, I was able to scrape off some of my numbers from the box. I do not recommend using a regular razor blade for this project. I use a stove top cleaning blade to prevent any further damage to my mailbox. I'll be sure to list the brand I used at the end of the video. This part of the project did take the longest because I had to break up some of the numbers and then uh, reapply the WD-40 and then wait another 10 minutes and then do it all over again. But in the end, it did work out well. I did the whole process of applying, scraping, reapplying, and scraping about three times per side. While I continued to wait for the numbers to soak, I did go ahead and wash my mail post just to get rid of any debris that's on it and any dust from sanding it. Next, I applied some plastic around the base of my mailbox post, not really to protect the grass, but to give it a good threshold of uh, making sure that spray paint reached the bottom. Luckily, these steps can be done while my numbers are soaking off, so it's not like I'm wasting that time waiting around. Next, I apply the spray paint based off the instructions on the can. I started from the bottom of my post and worked my way up and only needed one coat. While my post is drying, I went ahead and chipped away a little bit more at my numbers. I was able to get the first slide complete in about 30 to 45 minutes and started on the second side.
I know it's not just me, but it's very satisfying watching the adhesive letters peel off. To make sure all the adhesive is off, I did take a piece of sandpaper to the box to scuff out anything that may have been left behind as well as any scratches that were visible. I used Dawn dish soap and a shop towel to give the box a good cleaning to make sure all the adhesive was off as well as a WD-40 and any dirt. Using blue painter's tape, I completely covered the red flag to make sure I didn't get any spray paint on it. Using the same spray paint as I did on the post, I applied a single coat on the first side, let it dry for about five minutes, and then flipped it over and did the second side. You'll notice that for the scraping of my numbers as well as the spray painting of my mailbox, I used a plastic drop cloth to work on just for easy cleanup. After about 10 minutes of waiting for the box to be completely dry, I removed the painter's tape from the flag and proceeded with my numbers. In hopes to get my numbers as straight as possible, I did use a piece of blue painter's tape for a guide. It was really odd because the zero and the one were longer than all of my other numbers and I don't know why, but luckily I was able to correct that at the end by just getting a razor blade and snipping off the very bottom of each of these numbers. After reattaching the box to the post, I realized that my poor little flag needed a little bit of help as well. Luckily, I had an old bottle of red acrylic paint that I was able to use for the flag.
I am very pleased with how this project turned out. The before pictures versus the after pictures are a night and day difference and again I was able to complete the entire project for under $20.